Hello and welcome. This is Mike Mercer from Mercer Quality Consulting bringing you video training on some new features in Minitab 16. In my opinion, the most exciting new feature is the inclusion of split plot experiments in the DOE or Design of Experiments section. In this video, I'll discuss the theory behind split plot experiments and in part two, I'll show how to do them in Minitab. It has been said that all industrial experiments are split plot experiments, meaning that some level of restricted randomization has been employed. This is frequently the case when industrial experiments involve two types of factors, those that are hard to change, HTC, and those that are easy to change, ETC. Hard to change factors have levels that are difficult and or expensive to change. As a result, the experimenter would prefer to run the experiment in such a manner as to minimize the number of times that they must change the hard to change factor. Industrial experiments that are designed as completely randomized but fielded with restricted randomization because of a hard to change factor and yet analyzed as if they were completely randomized can lead to serious errors. Until recently, only highly trained statisticians were able to properly analyze and design split plot experiments. Now, Minitab version 16 has provided a straightforward and easy method to design and analyze split plot experiments. What is a split plot experiment? Split plot experiments were invented by Ronald Fisher in 1925 for use in agricultural experiments. As a result, we have inherited language that is specific to the first agricultural implementation. As a simple illustration of the original idea in an agricultural situation, consider a study of the effects of two irrigation methods and two fertilizers on a yield of a crop using four available fields as experimental units. Factor A has A1 and A2 as the two irrigation methods and factor B has B1 and B2 as the two fertilizers. In this investigation, it's not possible to apply different irrigation methods, factor A, in areas smaller than a field. But different fertilizer types, factor B, can be applied in smaller areas. If we subdivide each field, think of the term whole plot, into two smaller plots, think of the term subplots, each fertilizer type can be applied in a separate subplot within each whole plot. In this split plot design, a first randomization assigns the two irrigation types to the four fields or whole plots. Then within each field or whole plot, a separate randomization is conducted to assign the two fertilizer types to the two subplots within each field or whole plot. Now let's try to get a handle on the terminology inherited from the agricultural folks. A whole plot is one level of the hard to change factor. A minimum of two whole plots are needed for a split plot experiment, one at the low value of the hard to change factor and one at the high value of the hard to change factor. Every whole plot contains its own factorial experiment at one level lower. A two to the four split plot experiment has two to the three or eight runs within each whole plot. A subplot is one run of the underlying factorial experiment within a whole plot. So for the 2 to the 4 split plot, there are 2 to the 3 or 8 runs or subplots within each whole plot. Since there are at least 2 whole plots, there are a minimum of 16 subplots within a 2 to the 4 split plot experiment. Replicating the number of whole plots is the secret that allows calculating the statistical significance of the hard to change factor. A replicated 2 to the 4 split plot experiment contains twice the number of runs, or 2 times 2 to the 4th equals 32 runs. However, a fully randomized 2 to the 4 experiment has just 16 runs. So the price to pay for restricted randomization is double the number of runs over the fully randomized two-level experiment. However, you can run a half fraction split plot experiment with just half the number of runs to equal the number of runs as the fully randomized two-level experiment. Now let's discuss the example we will use in demonstrating Minitab split plot implementation. The experiment is a typical product and process understanding experiment. The example involves a compounding extruder and coating line 
the extruder compounds adhesive, and the coating line coats and cures the adhesive. The product variables are coating weight and amount of tachifier. The process variables are extruder temperature and cure temperature, and the response is adhesion. The extruder takes a considerable amount of time to stabilize to a new temperature, so we want to minimize the number of temperature changes we make. So extruder temperature is the hard to change factor. So that's a short introduction to the theory of split plot experiments. In the next video, we'll show how to use Minitab to design and analyze split plot experiments.